to you all hope the morning is okay or the afternoon or the evening i don't know well i'm doing this tutorial it's a morning uh, now i'm going to show you briefly how um we use school kit uh, portal how we use the school kit portal all you need to do is after opening your browser like you see me my browser is firefox or you may be having your phone you may just open uh, uc browser opera mini chrome any browser that you have you just need to type in the website www.schoolkit uh, schoolkitug.com well you see me it will do it, it i have uh, i've been using it so it will just uh, directly bring in the the suggestion uh, now after you've clicked on that it will bring the website it will look like this all you need to do uh, is either you can scroll down uh, to have a look at other features what it does uh, or if you want, don't want to waste them go directly to sign in hope you can see the sign in right here so click on sign in and uh, then uh, it will load sorry my internet is a bit slow so you'll put in your email address and your password uh, mine was already i've already saved them then you can sign in okay now uh, so it, uh, you've signed in uh, don't worry about this these are the groups I've, i'm connected to because i'm the director of studies so i'm correct i'm connected to almost all groups um so i'm going to use an example i created a dummy group um i created a dummy group for just showing this tutorial so suppose you're in a group let's say you're going to teach uh history a senior five so it means this is this will be a group which will be senior five history now instead mine is a dummy group eh? if you're going to teach let's say mathematics senior one it will be senior one mathematics group uh you'll be uh, highlight given more highlights on how to join those groups later on so if we're going to conduct a lesson uh, we have a number of features where there is a question and answer discussions the notes uh, then this is these other ones are not so important for the lesson this just shows you the members and then here you can see how many members are in the group then you can see also how many members are online now remember this group is created by me so i'm the only member in the group and I'm in, right now I'm online that's why you see there is one online and one member so if they are like let's say you have 20 students in a group and at that time you log in maybe 15 have logged in it will show you that you have 20 including you that is 21 or 25 members and then it will be showing you how many people are online maybe like 10 are online then you'll know that you're having 10 people online including yourself so suppose i'm starting a lesson i will click on discussions uh -huh. if i click on discussions i can click on start a discussion now when i click on start a discussion uh this side it shows you the discussants you add discussants meaning uh this can be people i want to discuss if they're students i want them to contribute as well like i'm going to keep asking them as they contribute i can click on all of them if there are many I keep clicking on all of them and then they will be added so here i can add the title of the discussion maybe it is lesson two uh, maybe i can say physics lesson two uh, remember already the, the you know which class you're in I can say maybe the topic is measurements. Measurements. So if uh, you want to add a description, I can just say continue continuation on measurements. And then I'll be able to I can post that continuation and measurements so uh meaning you're starting now your lesson uh sorry my like i said earlier my internet is a bit slow so to continue you see here now i have created this discussion now i can say participate meaning every student should click on participate that is when you will be able to 
log into that discussion so you can see these physics lesson two measurements so if i want to add uh, some things like continuation i can say i can start typing like today we are looking looking at various uh, physical quantities that we measure in physics I can pose a question and say uh, dear students can you mention some quantities that you know which can be measured in our daily in our daily life so oh, i can say dear students can you mention some quantities that you know we measure in our daily life then i can pose that question you see i'm adding it as a comment on the other discussion so i post it i'm posting it i say post answer okay so it means uh-huh now you can see it now it is showing you that physics lessons that a Hebo william has posted this today we are looking at various quantities that we measure in physics dear students can you mention some quantities that you know now remember the all discussants will be able to see this now if anybody wants to add on an answer or a comment you see this part here is showing a comment if we click on it it will ask you to comment now meaning each learner can comment and maybe one might say length and then send you see send so the comment successfully you see that uh, William has commented that length then maybe there is John John wants to comment to comment as well can also add and say time and also send okay so uh, sorry 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 uh, sorry about that so uh, that's how they can uh, they can uh, uh, members can keep commenting eh? different members can keep commenting mm, let me see okay okay no this is not supposed to be here it is supposed to be in the comment section mm. yeah comment is also added thank you um so that is how they can comment now these are assuming these are students they are responding to the question that i have asked remember i have added them as discussants now from the answers i've seen i can now go ahead to say all right uh thanks for contributions thanks for contributions um take a look at this at the picture below and then i can add an image uh, let me see i can add an image mm -hmm. sorry can add an image I can add an image like this okay and I post mm -hmm. so are you seeing this now uh, he added there I said what we are looking at blah 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 and now they contributed what they contributed I saw it then I said all right thanks for contributions and then i said take a look don't mind my 
uh, my punk uh, my uh, typing error don't mind it so i said take a look at the picture below so i saw i show them then i can ask them what are some of the measuring instruments you see in the picture and i post that okay so still they can start telling me their answers one can say a tape measure and then comment another one may say uh, for him he can see a thermometer and post okay uh, another one may say ah no me i'm seeing a clock okay yes so um remember i'm conducting my lesson i'm talking about measurements we have already introduced what uh, what uh, we measure i've asked them uh, now by the way i've forgotten to tell you that this lesson i'm conducting this i'm conducting it in a format of the senior one curriculum that is why you see i'm asking a lot of questions to get feedback from from learners as you all know that uh, with the new curriculum of senior one it is more student centered they have to contribute so now uh, after them identifying then i can ask them maybe now i can now use the answer part eh? this part here i can use this to ask another question like uh, they tell me what each instrument measures so that's how i can connect my lesson and uh, yeah it will be moving on smoothly so basically that is how you can conduct uh, your lesson on the platform and uh, maybe if you want to add notes um okay let me let me show you here so if you if you wanted to or oh, let's say add notes you can go back to the group you see this part here there is a group always here you can click on the group uh you go back it will load and take you back to the beginning bit then you click on notes okay then you can say upload notes so it will ask you to upload notes then he it will ask you which category you're uploading then i can say select the category i'm uploading i can say physics and then maybe i can browse uh, my notes I can say let's say the physics textbook senior one and then i will select it there then i will say uh, the students the title i can say the students book and then i can say uh, description i can add anything to describe what what you want the your learners to know I can say maybe this is the learners textbook and then maybe i'll say upload okay so uh, uh within a given short time depending on your internet speed or how big the notes you're uploading are uh, the the book should be able to upload successfully after after a given time so uh, maybe after adding notes you can go back or when you're conducting a lesson you remind your students that when they enter the group they open they can check in the notes they download those notes so that you keep referring them there maybe as you're conducting a lesson uh well this this is my internet i told you it is slow a bit here where i am right now so it's taking long to upload so you'll cancel it but it is supposed to upload successfully so basically that's what i wanted to show you um the rest here you can see notifications can show you notifications of what is taking place in the groups that you're part of uh don't mind this here i can see amoita augustine was teaching 
please let me know what we are talking about in math and where exactly are we starting from in senior two so th i think amoit is asking his, his students i can click and it will take me there to see what he was doing in the in his group i can see here bama dane um was posting something i think he was also conducting a lesson in a certain class so the notifications here you can see what is taking place in groups that you're part of and the, of course the rest the rest is just you will get to go through it as you interact with the platform but that was the important thing i wanted to show you how you can conduct a lesson using the school kit platform thank you so much for your time i wish you all the best